You know, as parents, you worry about a lot of things, especially whether your kids might be drinking or smoking pot. When it comes to marijuana, you know certain things to look for, you know, like pipes or bongs. Well, ABC2 is working for you tonight, helping spot kids hiding their habit. ABC2 News Josie Sherman explains many of them are concealing the way they smoke in plain sight. It may be called the same thing and smoked the same way, but one thing's for sure, marijuana has changed since the 1960s. This is not your father's pot. <laughs> you know, this is some, you know, things are different. Things are very, very different. We're Addiction specialist Mike calls. Gimble with St. Joe's Medical not. Center says it's not just the dope that's different, so are the undercover tools kids use to smoke it. Now they've taken drug paraphernalia and turned it into everyday items. Items that let your kid hide their habit in plain sight. These items seem like harmless household stuff, but look closer. They're not what they appear. Well, you have a regular magic marker, looks very real, but the bottom comes out, has a fake bottom and you have a marijuana pipe. From highlighters that aren't being used for homework to flashlights that kids use to light up a different way. The top comes off, very simple, and it goes right into the top, and you got a pipe. Kids make pipes out of makeup, too. This lipstick container looks just like the real thing, but unscrew it and you've got the tools to toke. There isn't a parent in the world that's going to suspect that this is a pipe. Parents also won't suspect their kids are wearing something that helps them get high. But jewelry like this is the latest trend. So you have your nice bracelet. Just wear clips. What you think is a nice clip? It actually is a bowl. Put your pot. The front part comes down and you got a pipe. Pipes that parents won't see unless they know what to look for. It makes our job harder because now we have to start looking at their jewelry. We have to start looking at their markers. You know, it makes it like we have to become cops when, it, when we're supposed to be parents and educators. But now you've got to be detectives, digging into what your kid carries to figure out if you should be concerned. If I'm a parent, I don't care if my child is the greatest child in the world. I still talk about this. I still keep my eyes and ears open. Josie Sturman, ABC2 News.